Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher Wild Hunt with Tears of Gaia. So, I realized my inventory or my weight limit is almost reached. And there's this neat little thing with the new patch, um, which is called a stash. Store items here for safekeeping. So instead of selling everything, you can just store some heavy items in those stashes and then get them later on. Look at all the question marks. Oh my gosh, so much going on here. So we'll have to um, travel through Velen some more. Anyhow, I was looking for some more stashes. Um, oh, there's one in Crow's Perch and one in Novigrad. None in Oxenford, but it's okay. I don't think I need many of them. Just one is okay. And that's why I came here. Killer prowls the city, but you're not scared. Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why the lockdown? Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Well, I don't have a pass. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on, how do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Let him through. Here's his papers. What? But we Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Siggy Reuven. Awesome. So it's great to have powerful friends, you say? Another drift of infantry. We'll thought that. So there's my stash over there. But apparently there's a couple of witch hunters standing there. Who don't like me entering this place. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear? Chief, eh? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. Is there a problem? There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. <laughs> oh. Just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Cause we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right, and don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without a shovel. Was that a friend of yours? Especially that Earl dude seemed interesting. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coal face with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. Well, what is it all about, anyway? What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal. About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Good decision. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. 
Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? I'll help you, of course. If it involves playing Gwent, then I'm all over it. Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this dead now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. What, what about this witch hunter? The drunk guy. Ah! Okay, but is there any way I can... Oh. There is my stash. Hello, stash. What should we put in there? Like this and this. All of the swords, basically. The Griffin Steel Sword enhanced. Yeah, why not? The Carabella. No, we can go and sell the Carabella and the Guest Dog. We can sell the Velenex too and the Dwarven Blade too. Put nothing there that we, we will need anytime soon. But also, we should put heavy stuff there. So, what do you say about. Swords aren't really heavy. What's heavy is the armor. It's not really heavy. Griffin armor can go there too. The Temerian armor. Okay. Well, that would be it. Yeah, it's way better. Okay, so I don't want to start uh, down the lion's quest. But first, I want to finish Zoltan's quest, which is which requires me to go to look at Zed. And I guess we'll have to play some Gwent for the cards, or I don't know. That John Natalis card, though. The John Natalis, John Natalis sounded familiar. I thought I had it, Man of Cohorn, Jennifer Vengerberg. Um, I can't find them. I thought I had it, but maybe... John Natalis is... I have so many cards that not in my deck. Maybe John Natalis is a Scoia'tael card. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't seem to make sense uh, to what kind of deck they belong. Knock. Locked. It looks like Zed's inside. And in hot water. Gotta find another way in. Like, really? Okay. The eternal fire will light our way. Mm. Maybe not like this, though. What? Guess you double in the rain. Oh. We could climb up there and then try a luck over there. that poor townsman he's just sitting there it's not the pointing guy though I was hoping it was him that w he would point me hey you know how I can enter this house well good sir I'll point you there Oop. I'll give you a discount for heroic deeds but the madam well there you go no loot well, no, it does not seem like he's in hot water. It seems like he's dead. 
must be Zed. Zed is dead. He had the last wish over there, which reminds me. We have to read some books. Okay, Geralt, maybe we should... Oh. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ringo. Time to shine. Get him! Time to burn! That's what time it is. Oh, guys. Oh, guys. Should not have tried that. Oh, yeah. Stab you and stab... Oh, come on! Still doesn't work sometimes. Key to Zed's pawn shop. And Isengrim... Isengrim part. Isengrim foil Tiana from the square tail deck. Wonder how much this card's worth. You've got a new Ledger Gwent card. Might be worth snooping around for. looking for something. Wait a minute, what? what? What was the key for? Either Zed had an ornery cat, or there's a hidden compartment under there. Of course there is. Ledger of income and outlays. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Maybe I should have a look at this first. You already read this book. It's okay if, if I already read it. Or is it here? Of course it's here. Outlay, Steel Sword New, Fabian Olivier, Moth Eaten Coat of Gold Cloth, Duke, Isengrim Foul Tjarna Card, Ravik, Fringilla Vigo Card, Caesar Bilzen. Three polished peacock opals, Dixon. Okay. Fair enough. What about the card? Isengrim. He is part of the Scoyotel deck. That I don't have yet. Oh, I can just open it up. <laughs> what? You carry a baby in your arm, lady. I mean, it's natural, but don't. Ah! The aim, which uh. You shouldn't tell everyone when you have a baby. It's not my, you know, it's none of my business. But life's wet enough in the gutter. Hey, Zoltan. Witcher. No, I wanted to talk to Zoltan. Zoltan. Get out. Get out. Let's play cards. Oh. Mm, should we play them first? About those cards. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! The sails are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? This business is getting dangerous. Zoltan, sure this business isn't getting a little too dangerous? I mean, men are dying over these cards. Just Zed. And believe you me, he wasn't an innocent bystander. Besides, I'm certain he snuffed his killers out on the spot. So why worry? Tell me about the other cards instead. Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Uh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Ah, uh, who's Caesar Bilson? Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's Club. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Angler's Club, the pride of the Pontar. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. And who's that Ravi? Didn't even read his name in, on the ledger. Ravi. 
Who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I give him a smack and things between us have been frosty. So you'll have to see him alone. I'm gonna try to get the cards. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. Wow. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to push your foot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well, good luck to you, Geralt. Wait, wait, I wanted to Next play time cards. Next card trade and be sure and bop me in the head Get with a wagon axle. Zoltan. Geralt. There you go. Now let's play some Gwent. Round of Gwent. I never refuse. Awesome. Now is the perfect time. Let's play. Just a quick round, to be sure. With my Northern Realms deck. Of course he's got a Scoia'tael deck. Uh, what should we trade there? Well, this one alone won't bring me a thing. Might try my luck again. Ah, come on. No luck at all. I don't want to lose this time, so... I can't tell you what my strategy really is, We're, we'll, we'll, we'll be going with um, Siege Weapons for now. Let him play his cards, hopefully in the melee row, so that I can use Villain Tread and Murph sometime. Geralt of Rivia! Oh, I want this card so badly. Okay. And he has Triss too? Well, you know what, I'm pretty much fucked. And he has Yennefer too. What should we do? Use a decoy there, so I can use this card again. And he passed. Was it a great idea? Even? Hmm. Scoia'tael usually, usually don't have spies, so let's get the card back. Stupid idea. Stupid idea. What a stupid idea. Ah, oh, come on. Well, I guess I'll have to lose this round. I'll try him again if I lose. Whatever. Hmm. Great. Your opponent has passed. There you go. Next round. Yeah, you gave me Vesemir. Great. No, don't scorch my card. Now watch. I will lose for sure. Okay. <laughs> nope, nope. Next tape. Get out, get up, get, 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 get out, pal. With a wagon. Get out, pal. No, oh, come on, Something. I just. Get out. All I want to do is play you again until I win. Up for some. Of course. I had a terrible hand there. Let's play. This can't be it. 
There you go. Much better. Much better. Um, might even want to keep it like that, or maybe change. Yeah, medic. Great. Okay, he plays Triss. Scorch card would have been helpful, but okay. And a commander's horn. What if I if I use a commander's horn? Oh, only 32. My math is not the best. Alright. Should we do now? Well, of course, wind around. Last time I lost the first round, it was not helpful at all. Now let's use her to get whatever. Okay. Get you back. I actually wanted to get my spy back, but it never works. Next thing is get the second blue stripes commando back. Oh, I hate you, Zoltan. I hate you so much. What should we do now? He's not bad at all. Torrential rain. Hmm. Well, I don't. I don't really care. Well, maybe I should. Yes, Yennefer too. Your turn. No, not the Geralt card again. What are you gonna scorch now? Not too shabby. Oh, I won. Was really close. Seems I won. Great fucking shock, given your frankly amateur deck. Here, take this card. You need it. You do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing the shame a good dandelion for that. <laughs> You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Roach! Oh, pals. Well, I didn't want to... What are you crying? I have strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Oh, no, no, no. Not right now. What card did I get, though? It is supposed to be... What? What card did I get? Only this one, eighth knee. Well then, okay. What about we are not doing the Gwent quest right now? We wanted to do what? A dangerous game. It's already gray. Meet Zoltan in front. Get the John Atalis card from Red. Okay. This is what we're gonna do now. Even though it's let's already great. Let's play Burn the Boy. <laughs> there are so many great quests. And, um. Is it, actually, is it far? Not that far. The second bridge to the right, and then we'll be there. 
there's so many great quests that I just learn about when they're already great. So what am I supposed to do? I'll just I'll just do them anyway. So we're, we're walking all this way for a Jonatelli's car. We should have got when we were level 12. And Triss's face is still all over Novigrad. No one knows that she's gone. I'm gonna take all your wire. What you gonna do about it? I'll make you weep blood. What? It's quick. Get inside. Someone is... Someone is... Making someone weep blood. Downstairs? How about that? It's the flea-ridden mutant. Join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life and... Uh... Oh, you got the card! What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broken. So, it seems the Witcher will have to play for you. Sound good? Ah! See? Ravi's on board. What do you say? We add some spice to the game. Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis car. Fancy that? Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> I'm here. I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play. Let's play. I can be. I can be so much fun. You'll never know. Okay. So this time, I should not lose. Doesn't seem like I will though. Vrim then. My turn. Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. You're serious about it. I can be terribly serious too. There you go. And all I have to do now is scorch you. And you played another spy on me. No decoys to take it back. Well, you passed. Well, that's a pity. I still have a commander's horn for the next round, so that's why I used Dandelion there. Now you're giving me the decoy, really? Like, really? Needed it before, though. Okay, commander's horn there. Well, at least he's not good. No good at all. And there are my heroes. I'll give you Roche. I'll give you Siri. Oh, 
most importantly of all, I'll give you Philip Eilhart. What if King Radovid hears about this? <laughs> Yeah, I'm great, and you're not. Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still, or you'll hurt yourself. But... But he won! So, now we'll play something else. Something... Something I will win for sure as well. Okay. Thanks. Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. So give me the Jonathan card right now. The Natalis card, of course. Here. Thank you, my dear friend. He had a shirt. So where is it? Oh, John Atalis, Northern Realms. It's a hero card, of course. Why does everyone want this card so bad? It's only 10 points. With a hero card, 10 points is not that much. Oh, awesome. Some fist fighting. Um, I'll join them later. If I have the time. So much going on in Novigrad, and I still have so many contracts. Whoa! Don't do that to me, please. Ah, the thinking. Okay. As they say, a bard must be a quick talker, and a witcher a quick stalker. How do you find Novigrad? Does it suit you? <laughs> Locked. Oh, there's Zoltan. Ah, uh, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar Bilzen to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the card there. Wouldn't it be simpler to just buy the card? Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. If I'd Caesar never sell Fringilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. <laughs> I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his already leaving home. Also why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. <laughs> three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. Do you really think so? He's still he's still a dwarf, isn't he? So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy, but you can tell me once we're done. Let's go! Chivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, see... <laughs> I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? Well, him. Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does uh, Geralt fish? Yes, I do. Yeah, cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. In the pond, You betcha. Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! 
Okay. So what the tanders are eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse is a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavoured shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Recently is not a word. <laughs> Recently isn't a word. Who'd you bring along, Chivi? Some plowing grammar purist? Well then, did you hear Vibo Batilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, cocksuckers lying like always. Haunter Pike aren't so dim witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would I eaten it myself? <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure. Hey, Geralt, what do you and your pals use up at Care Morehead? Bombs. <laughs> Bombs. How's that? <laughs> well then, how many jests lately? Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Get out! Go fetch us another bottle. Right. Right. You can see the bottom of this one. Okay. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with ye. You forget what happened last time. So we have to go upstairs to fetch a new bottle. Interesting. Did I have to talk with them about fishing? What is there to examine? Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Triangular hole in the wall. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Knife looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Whoa! Drawer is open. Hmm. What happened there? Triangular key. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. Yeah, really classic. It's a, almost a cliche, but. Dining set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Wow. Ornate sword. No. Nope. Oh, gold sapphire necklace. Why does he have all this stuff? Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm. <laughs> Pretty grim curiosity. Yeah. What does he do with the skull? With which Stefan Skellen was hanged. And ah, there's the card. Let's go downstairs then. Now, won't they get suspicious when I don't give them another bottle? Was the dwarves who pop slow? Sultan, time we were on our way. Uh, I suppose so. Grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We have a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him! And you two, get lost! No, we won't. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing the Witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Bad idea. Ah. Witcher 
stupid hench dwarf. Thanks. Oh, how will I ever explain this to Cleaver? I'd recommend a letter. <laughs> right. Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. And that's the end of your days. Oh. Oh, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by, splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Well, thank you. I took a look at Caesar's collection. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir, Joachim de Vett's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger. The rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit! Disgusting fellow. I think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Uh, if you say so. Well, we get all the cards now. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. That's all we do? The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. <laughs> You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone, as long as they pay. Of course you're not. <laughs> ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome. Try it and find out. <laughs> you wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Get out. Bastards get away with my coin. Damn it. With our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. All right. Where did he go, though? Whoa. What really, though? Where is he? Um. Show us what you bring in. I guess I was not supposed to do that. Whatever I did there. You know, glitching through the walls is never a good thing. Oh, there he is. There he is. What are you doing up here? Come on, you're killing all the suspense here. What about the candles? What? Can't understand a word. Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Never. Oh, Duke. When I get to you, I'll make you pay. For making me what? No, that was not supposed to happen. Well, anyhow, <laughs> I just drank a Petri's filter. Where is he now? Seriously? Where did he go? Downstairs? I never went downstairs before.
or down ladder. That's getting less exciting by the minute. Chasing after that guy. But okay. I'll find you. Um, where's where you are? I'll just loot everything here on my way. Oh. Where did you go? Chase Duke. He's in the next room. Oh, level 4 drowner, seriously? Way too easy. <sighs> now he's over there. And all this for 5 experience points. Duke! Surviving drowners. You could use a witcher. <laughs> ha ha. Highly amusing. If if I give you the coin, will you leave me be? No. Of course not. No. Rather make sure this was our last meeting. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, that's grand. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. I'll take the cards, of course. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Sultan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the king of the Pontar. Okay, we should make this our catf catchphrase. And that was all for today. We finished a dangerous game, we got all the cards. And next time we'll do something... Um, with a little bit more impact on the storyline, like maybe kill a king. That would be swell. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, maybe drop a comment about anything related to this episode at all. And I hope to see you next time.